this session we're going to start with the oxidation numbers of carbon and oxygen. Together with hydrogen, they make up about 93% of our body, so they're pretty important and a good place to start. And to start discussing them, let's go with the valence electrons. Carbon, group 4, has 4 valence electrons. 4 valence electrons, and let's get that one out of the way. 4 valence electrons. Oxygen in group 6 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 valence electrons. Now, when we learned about electronegativity, and you can look that over in the bottom right hand corner of the chart, electronegativity says that every element pulls electrons in a bond toward it differently. In this case, oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. It pulls electrons toward it. The electronegativity of oxygen is, uh, let's see, 3.44. whereas carbon is 2.55. So in a molecule, in a molecule like carbon monoxide, the oxygen is assumed with oxidation number, the more electronegative element is assumed to get the electron. Oxygen gets it, gets a two, goes from six to eight, minus two, carbon loses two, plus two. Remember, this is an approximation. This is assuming electronegativity is the key to the molecule. And not quite true, but we'll use it. In the molecule carbon dioxide, oxygen is minus two. There's two of them, so carbon is plus four. Now let's explore a couple unusual molecules. Carbon combining with hydrogen. Methane, 80% of natural gas. Methane, 80 plus. Hydrogen, the poor guy. Hydrogen, look at its electronegativity in a corner. It's just 2.20. 2.20. And carbon doesn't change. So, the electrons are pulled that way. Carbon Therefore, we'll start with hydrogen. Hydrogen loses four electrons. It becomes plus one. Each one loses one. Carbon, therefore, gets all the electrons. Full octet, minus four. But if we look at carbon with chlorine, carbon tetrachloride, now you have chlorine is a more electronegative element pulling the electrons that way. So what we have, and I'll darken that up a little bit, chlorine is assumed to gain the valence electron, each one minus one. So carbon loses all its electrons, plus four. Even a very unusual compound is carbon with two hydrogens and two chlorines. CH2Cl2. And what happens here, the electronegativity of chlorine is it's pulling for two electrons. And here carbon is pulling for two electrons. Two gain, two loss. The electronegativity of ox, I mean the oxidation number of carbon is zero. It's the same as the element up here with total of six electrons and six protons, or four valence electrons, but the total electrons and protons adds up to zero. Take a little bit of time with oxygen. Oxygen, as we know, even uh, take a common substance like calcium oxide and ion, two plus, two minus, oxidation number is minus two, is calcium is plus two. But let's explore a couple unusual compounds. Even oxygen can vary. And not spending a lot of time, sodium peroxide. 
sodium is plus one. There's two sodiums. The peroxide ion is polyatomic to mean two atoms. It's a therefore a minus two. Each oxidation number for oxygen therefore is minus one. Now let's look at this guy. This is compound called potassium and we'll erase that potassium superoxide. Very unusual compound. It's used in uh, special uh, respiratory masks for people in smoke because it generates its own oxygen and absorbs their carbon dioxide. Potassium is, you can look up superoxides, potassium is plus one. The whole superoxide ion is minus one. Therefore, what in the world is the oxidation number of oxygen in this compound? minus one half. So oxidation numbers do not even have to be whole numbers. And finally, the only electronegative element that is more electronegative than oxygen is fluorine. Fluorine would be a minus one. There are two of them, so oxygen would be equal to a two plus. So you see, I don't like rules because electronegativity is the key issue in oxidation numbers, but we had three rules we gave you way back. Uh, so we'll stop right there, and I think it'd be good to, in case you want to review, you may want to go to the tape on oxidation number basics again, or electronegativity. Or you could look at uh, Lewis structures, may help. And we'll stop there.